Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking Mitchell Bottomley's 389X down to the paint shop. The guys have been doing a ton of work to this truck. It is, uh, it's ready, it's ready for paint. So we're gonna get the paint work done on this dude and then we're gonna bring it back up here to Crossville when that's finished and do a whole lot more. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I'm driving it down there. We gotta unload like a toolbox and get everything ready because we have a ton of work to do in the paint shop. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you a couple other projects that we're uh, gonna be buttoning up this week and uh we're gonna also give you a sneak peek of the truck that we're taking to the 75 chrome show but more importantly we're taking mitchell's super long 3d9x to the paint shop and uh give it a little test drive see how everything's doing on it but uh be a pretty fun video and uh, kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on since we got back from mid-america so follow along it's gonna be a good time all right so uh heading to the paint shop with uh, Mitchell's truck and uh, got it pretty much ready to go for paint now and uh, this more or less is the test drive make sure everything is the way it needs to be so like once I get once I get over to the paint shop walk around check everything out make sure nothing's getting loose or rubbing or any of that stuff which it all should be totally fine um, and then it's already later in the day so essentially at this point i'm just parking the truck there tonight and tomorrow we'll uh we'll all start work in the paint shop and we've got which i'll show you in this video um we've got two trucks to put together in there right now and then we're going to pull this one in and take it apart and then they're going to start getting this thing ready for paint uh pretty much right away so this, this whole deal from where it's sitting out right now to when we get it done should go pretty quickly. Um, I think the guys are kind of chomping at the bit ready for ready to do something. So, um, but yeah, driving this 330 inch wheelbase, 389X of Mitchell's in legendary red. Thing's pretty sweet. shop and the sun's out i kind of was thinking about this but nobody's seen this truck yet in the sunlight it's always been in the shop so uh there you go legendary red 330 inch wheelbase this dude is so freaking long i think this uh this makes it like the longest truck we've done on the youtube channel Jesse, you have anything to say about that? This is the longest truck I've ordered in so long. So yes, absolutely. Since semi-casual, this is definitely the longest truck. There it is. By like 20 inches. <laughs> well, wait. Um, we had 310. No, we had 320 on um, Troy's truck. Oh well, yeah. So <laughs> 320, and then and then we got and then we got this one's 330. Mitchell said he wasn't being outdone by uh, Troy. He wanted it longer. It looks pretty cool like this, though. I like it. I like the red in the sun. Yes. The legendary red's an awesome color. So, that's what we got. That's what we got going on. I'm going to real quick just kind of tell you guys some of the stuff we're doing this and some things I'm going to leave out just so, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe you'll do so so you can see how this whole thing turns out when it's finished. But, um... This is a, anyway, it's a 320 inch wheelbase. It's a five and a half inch drop axle factory air ride deal there. And uh, low air leaf, or I'm sorry, low, low air in the rear. Um, just give the truck a good stance. And then that paint though. 
freaking awesome. So we're doing the hidden death tank, as you can see. We're gonna be painting the tanks on this truck, legendary red. And then we're gonna be base clear painting the frame also. That's going black. And then the fenders are going legendary red. And we're doing a panel in between the fenders and uh, we're doing an eye panel on here. The eye panel is gonna be uh, shiny stainless. We're doing a custom shock box cover. Uh, kind of like the one we put on Troy's truck, if you saw that. Um, but we're going to be doing uh, step boxes on it and all kinds of cool stuff. But we got the tanks sucked up there as close as we can to that exhaust. Um, this is the this is the exhaust that comes with the 389X package. So uh, we didn't want to change any of that stuff. We don't want to change anything about it being the 389X. Uh, one thing, too, someone's going to say something in the comments. That right up there is just a piece of tape. Uh, that we haven't peeled off yet. It's like a protective covering that goes over the little vents. So, no, there's no, nothing's messed up. Just need to peel the tape off. Um, but anyway, so we got Aluma tanks on both sides and uh, the def tanks hidden back behind there on this one. And once we get the paint, the, the tanks painted, we'll then put the strap on it and uh, make that def cap and everything else kind of disappear. But there it is. We got that dude as close as we can get it up here. And uh, set a shift fenders on it. Um, they're just like, they're mounted up there. We're gonna pull all the brackets off. We still got a sandblast of brackets and then grind and round all the edges on the brackets and stuff like that. But you know, there's that. And then we got the deck plate uh, from SH Tube actually built this deck plate. And uh, pretty cool. This thing's super long, um, but it looks awesome. And then we've got this cross member put in here with the uh, dual electric outlets and two airs. And that is kind of like a little custom deal. We're sort of Frenched in there. Pretty neat looking. And over here, we got the other Aluma tank. So we swap both tanks out so they'll match because the Aluma tanks and the Peterbilt tanks the end cap right here is a little bit different. Um, we just wanted them to be exactly the same. So we put matching tanks on both sides and then we've got them sucked up as far as we can up here as well. And then we'll be putting 12 gauge stainless boxes on both sides of this truck. We've already done the breather chops on it, put lights on the, the watermelon lights on the mirrors. We did our uh, breather bars got the 39x logo in it and then oh the sun serious did nine lights on top of the roof and those are all the roadworks uh hero watermelon lights in there and the up housing and then we did a 12 gauge blind mount 20 inch bumper on it so now the big thing to do is get all this paintwork done and then once we get the paintwork done, Peter's gonna come down, do his, uh, do his magic polish this dude all up, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be pretty sharp. But hey, test drive went good, no issues. And uh, now we'll just pull it here in the paint shop and start taking it apart. Okay, here's the thing. You know what's gonna be the best part? Hang on, I'm gonna turn this off so we can hear. Toolbox? I don't want to drop the toolbox oh, now. No, the, that'd be the worst part. The best part about when this whole move is completely done and the paint shop and everything's all in Crossville exactly. is we don't have to do this anymore. Oh, just randomly moving logistics and just moving everything every day? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited about that part. <laughs> so, because we're, uh, like I said, we just, we, we just dropped Mitchell's truck off and then we're going to show you everything going on inside the paint shop. But one of the things we we're doing tonight is uh, we're dropping the old uh, toolbox off here so we can work inside. And uh, yeah, which happens way too frequently. It does happen a lot. It's a pain in the butt. What are you doing? Golly, you must work out. It's really my cheater floor. Everything just slides around in here. Hey, um, I don't pick it up that way, though. Huh? I don't pick it up that way, though. You're going to. Okay. <laughs> Just delivered. <laughs> Without incident. With, and it stayed together. Nice. Inside the paint shop. This is the truck right here.
that we are taking to 75 chrome. And uh, the guys have gotten a ton done on it. We still got quite a bit to do before we take it to 75 chrome. Um, but pretty sharp truck. It's a 72 inch stand up. It's a 295 wheelbase, five and a half inch drop axle, uh, regular low air leaf on the rear. And uh, what is this color? Do you remember the color? I knew you were gonna ask me that. I don't remember the color. It's a weird color. Most of my casual is like one off colors. Like I just dig until I find something I've never heard of. And that's the color Brian wants. <laughs> that's what this one is what too. Color is it, Brian? It's called Hot House Green. Hot House Green. And uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, you know what? The tanks are painted over here. I'll show you the tanks. And there's a little more light on the tanks so you can see the color better. It's pretty neat. It's got a bunch of metallic in it. It's a green color. And uh, you know, the metallic on it, you can kind of see this end cap as you roll around, how it gets bright and it curves, but it's a dark green if it doesn't have light on it. Um, pretty neat color. So uh, this truck, we're not doing a ton of crazy stuff to this. We're um, we got the Hogue built half fenders. Uh, they're blind mounted, low rider deals. And uh, we're gonna do a merit deck plate on this dude. And we're gonna do a 12 gauge rear center panel um, with five lights in it and a hidden reverse light. And then obviously we painted the fuel tanks and the air tanks um, and we painted the back of the visor for it. And then we're doing stainless panels around there. We're gonna do, uh, we got the stainless panels. These are 12 gauge panels and uh, then we're going to do, which SH tube just sent me some, uh, I'm going to put a stainless cow panel here as well. And, uh, we did the breather chops and then did the blind mount breather brackets and, uh, just went different. We just done a single watermelon light on the front of it. Just like, oh man, what was that? I uh, kicked the box. It's close. It's close. <laughs> Walking backwards, not looking where I'm going. And then the lights on the roof. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of what we're doing there. Um, we're going to do a Dynaflex exhaust stacks on it. Don't know what tips we're going to do yet, or even if we're going to do sevens or eights, we got both in the shop. We can use either or, um, so I don't know. Tell us in the comments, seven inch or eight inch and what top stacks you curve straights, miters, like there's all kinds of options. So, uh, this is the one we're taking to Florida. This is no, this is not like our show truck but we're going to take it to florida and uh we're just doing a little bit to it to make it a really cool looking truck and then uh it's for sale so if you're interested in buying this truck uh shoot us an email semi-casualshow at gmail.com we'll give you a call it's a 605 2050 torque cummins x15 18 speed trans disc brakes all the way around really nice unit loaded up inside too and then over here we're, uh, we're doing some more paint work. This is the kind of like, this is the brother to uh, Jacob Chandler's truck. This is his dad's truck, Randy Chandler. And um, we're painting the fuel tanks and the def tank deal on it. And then we're taking it back to our shop and we're doing a whole bunch more stuff to it. Uh, you can already see, we've already got the painted cabin sleeper panels done on it. And we did the Hogue built um, single round fenders on this dude they look super sharp too so uh 12 gauge straight bar on the back pretty cool unit and uh you'll see more of this because when we get both these trucks done we're gonna do a video of them with them side by side they're pretty cool trucks and that's all we got going on in the paint shop that's all huh <laughs> it's it's like slow, slow week around here slow week <laughs> and we gotta take uh we gotta take all the Mitchell's truck apart tomorrow and put these together tomorrow. We got busy. Well, it'll take us two days. Anyhow, but um, the goal is to get this one together tomorrow and get it back up to our shop in Crossville. And then over here, we got, um, we got some fenders we painted. I'm not even 100% sure what these are all for. Uh, these are going on a truck. This one's for a truck. I don't really know. I just got some fenders dropped off. So can you guys paint these? So, uh, Mark and Eli got them knocked out and they look good, but, uh, that's what's been going on in a nutshell since, uh, since mid America. Now it's like a whole new scramble of get stuff done to make it a 75 Chrome shop into the month, but, uh, we'll make it. We're doing pretty good.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. We got the hot house green truck. Hot house green. Hot house green. It, <laughs> we literally, like, so me and Jesse will sit down a smart spec and go through colors, and if the color sounds cool, we just write we'll the just number dig. down. We'll just find the most ridiculous keywords to type in and just see what happens. And then that's how, that's literally how we find these random colors. And then we we'll just write paint codes down. We bring them to the paint shop and uh, Mark and Eli like shoot out a uh, little test card so we can look at them. And then that's kind of how we come we with colors. It. And what's funny is when they come in, I usually hate them. They're like, oh, this is the worst color ever. And by the time they roll out the door, they're my newest favorite truck. <laughs> so <laughs> they'll, they'll be weird colors, but they'll yeah. look good when they're done. Yeah, different. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Not really working on anything here, just kind of updating you what's been going on. Um, tomorrow, we're actually be working on a video showing us putting this together, probably taking Mitchells apart and all that stuff, and uh, just trying to get ready to go to 75 Chrome. And uh, it's just been nuts. I mean, since we got back from Mid-America, it's been 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And uh, yeah, we haven't really filmed anything. We've just been trying to catch back up. So uh, the guys have been doing super awesome job and we're getting a lot done. So uh, we just kind of keep up that and uh, we'll have a couple of cool trucks to take to Florida. Definitely. So uh, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. See, Tommy usually points out. Oh, and then, and then, Tommy. And then, and then you would, and then if you oh, were me, then you would say, you didn't fill me in on yeah, that. then you would say yeah. at semi-casual show and I'd be like, See you next time. I'll practice, guys. I'll get that. I'll get that down for next time. <laughs> Later.